hey guys by the time you're seeing this video this is gonna be my last video pretty much in in a while I honestly can't say when I'm gonna try to pop up maybe for the holidays during my winter break I don't know if that's possible though cuz I'm gonna be in Guatemala and be pretty busy but um um still though still though by the time you're seeing this I'll be like it'll be the first day my first day back at excuse me grad school and it'll uh, be the start of my third of four semesters and um yeah just thank you guys um and I want to say in advance because we'll probably hit 800 subscribers either shortly after or shortly before this video goes live and I just wanted to say thank you for your support and thank you for all that you've um done for the growth of this channel and um but yeah you know seeing as again today I'm going to be going back to school um I wanted to talk about something and that's um a very underrated thing that will probably be necessary and valuable during doomsday and I um the idea for this video came from a conversation that I had with my brother about the coming uh climate crisis and uh, we were talking about it and he said but you know what Gabe we have something that um lots of other people will not have in a doomsday scenario and that's books and that's knowledge and that's going to come in very handy um because look I know I know a lot of these whatever tradesmen and boomer doomsday preppers are going to get mad at me and I'm not um saying that um their their stuff in a doomsday scenario um isn't going to be important of course their occupations like um welders and blacksmiths and stuff like that have been around for hundreds sometimes even thousands of years so of course we're going to need them more in the immediate future but bros if you want to talk about rebuilding civilization all of that stuff is based on on very sorts of complex levels of philosophy, mathematics, science, arts, design, and humanities, which, you know, are typically only found in books or among the formally educated. That's just facts. Whether you agree with that or not like we can debate whether or not there should be even higher access to that type of stuff um or easier access to that type of stuff i think there should be but um that's gonna be just as necessary if not more and that's gonna be put at a premium for sure you can believe it um and I guess it's this this gets to the bigger point which is that old saying by uh Sir Francis Bacon um scientia potentia est which it means knowledge is power and of course like I said there are many different types of knowledge but certainly the knowledge that Sir Francis Bacon was putting out 
and the knowledge that Mayan scribes and astronomers and astrologers were putting out were were was more abstract and more complicated than just your regular tradesmen. Again, no offense, but I mean that that's that's kind of the truth and. I guess, you know, as we enter the back-to-school season and all, that's all I wanted to remind you guys of. Remember that knowledge is power. It doesn't matter how you get it, but that you have it and that you know how to use it is what counts. Now, go out there if you're in school. Go do a great job. If you're in work, go do a great job. And I'm going to be doing the best I can to let's go. Let's go. Knowledge is power. Skientia potentia est, brothers and sisters. Bye.